Two peacocks that made a Rochester Hills subdivision their home for the last four years have been killed within days of each other. Yeah, the first was found shot with a crossbow. The other turned up with a broken wing and injured leg. Neighbors want to know who's responsible, and so does the Oakland County Sheriff. Mara McDonald live in Rochester Hills tonight. Mara, were these birds actually someone's pets or just, you know, like uh, permanent residents there? <laughs> Chase, more like permanent residents. The peacock showed up here at the Country Creek sub about four years ago, apparently decided they liked it here and stayed. One day I was looking out the window and this was in February, like the middle of winter, and there's two peacocks sitting on the railing of my deck. At first, Richard McDonald rubbed his eyes to make sure he wasn't seeing things. A couple times I thought maybe I was still asleep and dreaming, you know. He wasn't, and neither were his neighbors. I'm like, who are these birds? And they're both they're both in our backyards, and I'm like, we're, we're, what are we doing here? Where'd these things come from, right? And we had no idea where they came from, and they were beautiful. The birds were often seen parading around with their beautiful plumage on display for all to admire year round perching where they saw fit walk out in the summer and they'd be in my garage and they'd be just sitting down and you're taken aback and you're like why okay see boys gotta go you love sitting on my wife's car in the driveway you would come out walk out the garage door and there they were looking at you you know now both birds are dead within days of each other the first was found shot through the heart with a crossbow. I just can't imagine what's going through their mind. I mean, how could you hurt something that beautiful, you know? The other died under murky circumstances, seen limping around with a broken leg and seriously injured wing, ultimately dying. Yes, the peacock squawked and were known to help themselves to tomatoes, but neighbors are sick. Someone would kill them. I miss them already. I miss them. Back here live tonight, the Oakland County Sheriff's has an investigation into animal cruelty going here because a crossbow was used here. It narrows the radius, so they're looking for who's responsible. You know what's unfortunate here is that some of the neighbors like Richard, who you heard from, they were worried about these birds in the wintertime especially and thought, you know what, when their plumage goes away in August, we're going to trap them. And they had found a farm for them to stay on that would have offered them shelter and all the land they could have used to run around on. We're live in Rochester Hills tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Yeah, and if only whoever had done this thought ahead that thoughtfully as well. All right, Mara, thanks.